In another video, I mentioned the wonderful benefits of cauliflower and I shared how to roast it. Now, this is another way that I use cauliflower and I'm gonna mash this up after it's steamed and I'm gonna add all sorts of seasoning to it so it looks like mashed potatoes. So. We've done the first step. We steamed our cauliflower um, and then what we're gonna do next is I'm working with a cup of almond milk. I don't use regular milk. My preference is the almond milk. I get that at Old Foods or I believe some grocery stores carry that. Um, very nutritious. Delicious. Very, very good to cook with. And then I have six cups of cauliflower. Again, this can be adjusted. I'm not a real structured cook. I just kind of watch the consistency and just kind of add things to it, but I'm trying to measure today because I'd love for you to try this recipe. So I put a little bit of milk in there. This is the steamed cauliflower that we did just a few minutes ago. And we're going to start this up. And we're going to start blending it before we add other things. It's time to add a little bit more almond milk. This is such a wonderful alternative to mashed potatoes. Wonderful. And if you normally add butter to your mashed potatoes, you can add that. I get one Earth Balance from Whole Foods. Very good tasting. You can also melt some coconut oil, which I'm going to talk about that later, about all the benefits of coconut oil. Um, a lot of studies showing it's fantastic for the brain. I'm going to give you some data on that. Data on that. And I melted a tablespoon of that just to add it. It gives such a rich flavor. There is um, coconut oil that's refined and one that's unrefined. One is for higher heats, one is not. Uh, but I'm gonna have a little segment on that, so I hope you'll come to, to listen about that. And then I always put in a clove of fresh garlic. Again, you can alter this to your taste, um, but I put a whole clove of garlic because so healthy, so beneficial to your immune system. And so we're going to start this up again. We want to get it more like um, mashed potatoes. And then if it's getting too thick, then you add just a little bit more of your milk until you get it to your desired consistency. And we're getting there. want to add cayenne pepper, a little dash of that. You can add turmeric to it, another wonderful brain food, anti-inflammatory. We could add um, curry. I mean, there's just, it's so versatile. You can have a plain. Cinnamon. I love cinnamon because it's so good for regulating blood sugar. So cinnamon goes in a lot of things. That might not be to your taste, but I like that. Another thing I have mentioned in the past is Urban Mare. This is a seasoning with sea salt and compressed vegetables. Very tasty. We don't use just plain salt. This is our substitute. Wonderful for seasoning your food. Again, that's Urban Mare. I get it at Whole Food. And I just put a little bit in there and start it up. And we have cauliflower, I call it mashed potatoes. Okay. Wanted to show you that. Oftentimes when I serve this, I will add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top. 
and some Parmesan cheese. So be adventuresome. Try it and I have people I've served this to that don't even like cauliflower, but this passes. So uh, have fun with it, experiment with the seasonings, and, and enjoy.